Sammy? Hey, Sammy? 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 I I got the piece. We, we, we can end the video now. Sammy? Can you hear me? Can you? Can you? <laughs> hey, war. Nice cock. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Darksiders. So, this is a new series that I'm going to do. I am an average man with average hands. Back again to play another game. And uh, just a quick disclaimer. I'll put a timestamp in the bottom corner in case you want to just fast forward past all this because it's going to take a, a few minutes just to get through. If you know my channel or if you've seen stuff on my channel, I was doing a Lies of P series. Now, Lies of P now dysfunction was great. It was amazing, but I'll give you the long and short of it. The long of it, there you go. The short of it is I fucked up. Okay, um, Lies of P is done. It's finished, and it's finished because uh, I kind of I, I I messed up. So, just a quick uh, rundown. I had the videos ready. The last two videos, Luxasia, and the final boss of the game. I had it all ready. I was uploading it, and I thought, great. It's been a couple of hours, the videos were uploaded, let me delete them to make some space. Turns out, the page froze. I refreshed, and it wasn't actually uploaded. But the videos were gone. So, there was no way I could get those videos back, because I deleted them outside of my recycling bin. Gone. Finito. Poof. Out of nowhere. Destroyed. There's no backup. My fault. Absolutely no backup. I didn't realize they weren't fully uploaded, but yeah, so that's why there's no last two videos. Uh, how did I feel about Liza P? Great game. It had a few issues, tight parry windows, bosses all had second phases, please don't do that if you're doing DLC. That's pretty much it. Uh, Luxasia. Dude, someone cooked with Luxasia's design. Absolutely beautiful. The fight, not so much. <laughs> the fight was good. But I ended up learning just how to perfect parry everything. That is kind of how I dealt with it. The last boss, I got German vibes from it. Uh, no, actually Simon Manus. Simon Manus was great. But I had to use a Spectre. Because the frame rate of that second phase was doing me a concern. So I had to cave in and use the Spectre. It is what it is. That's it. The final, final boss, because I picked the option, because it was a German looking fight, and the Nameless Puppet was great, fantastic. Uh, first phase, beautiful, second phase, a problem, big problem. They need to start making those bosses more consistent. It's way too much, way too quickly, and with two health bars, it's a bit of an ask. Otherwise, it was a great game, great design, great music, soundtrack, oh mon dieu, the soundtrack, amazing. With that being said, that was Liza P, and I'm sorry that I couldn't get those last two videos out. Uh, but I was feeling kind of burnt out from the game, and so wasn't really that excited to, to or wasn't really that, you know, upset that I lost the videos. But now I'm moving on to Darksiders, War Master Edition specifically. This is a game that's very near and dear to my heart, and it has a bit of symbolism. So we'll get into that as we go further into the game, as we explore, as we discover, and we will unravel that little mystery. So yeah, like, sub, if you're feeling generous, it's completely up to you. But let's get into it. So, new game. Apocalyptic. Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. 
It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the council and its laws. For none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named. The Kingdom of Man. By order of the council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The great pact was bound by seven seers to be broken at the appointed time when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. One second. <laughs> Just, I'm getting paranoid now that this shit's not getting recorded. So give me a second. Just to double check. Yeah, okay. Things seem to be going. Things seem to be moving. And I think we're okay. Watching this uh, cutscene in 60 FPS remastered. I think they remastered it. It's bloody fantastic. It's, it's amazing. Dude, honestly... I forgot how good it was, and it took me back to when I first saw the trailer for this game. Because that was just amazing. Right, let me see if I can get my bearings here. This is the first time I've ever played the War Master version. So seeing all of this stuff... Ah, R1 is the dash. Okay, so seeing all this stuff, you know, crisp and clean is... It's a blessing. This game is near and dear to my heart, and... I'm really excited to play it. I love the prologue of this game. I'm going to try and attain whatever achievements I can get at the time. Okay, so we're supposed to go into Chaos Form here. Oh, 
god, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So we have the freedom here to actually change back and forth between Chaos Form and War whenever we feel like it, which is great. Now, this might take a few tries just because I'm trying to be wary of it, but there is an achievement that you can only get here. And it's an achievement for taking out a helicopter, a news helicopter, with a car. So let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do that. Where is it? Is it around here somewhere? Potentially? Potentially. This game definitely has the, the 2000s vibe going for it incredibly strongly. You know, you heard the Windhelm scream. I think it's Wilhelm, something like that. Okay. Now this might take a few tries. If so, I will have to like restart the game. Where is it? It's somewhere here, no? It should be somewhere here. There it is. Ah, <laughs> there we go. First try, baby. We love that. We love that. God, look how cool he looks. This game as well. Uh, the voice cast is what got me into wanting to be a voice actor really, really badly. The voice cast of this game was stacked so heavily. Mark Hamill, Liam O'Brien, Troy Baker. It was Fred, um, I always, oh sugar, I just killed a human. Um, I, I, I always butcher his second name and I apologize, but Fred Tas Tasquire? Tasquire? He plays a, he played a lot of characters in very much 2000s 2010 games like he played Megatron in the Transformers series uh, the War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron he's played multiple characters throughout these series has many credits I just for the life of me I cannot remember his second name what is happening so here is sort of the part where the game starts to implement its story. You hear the horn, and the call of the horseman, and it's a bit strange. So in the, in the series, in the canonical version of all of this, it's very strange that war is here. He's not meant to be here. Uh, at least he's not meant to be here alone. He's meant to be here with his brothers. So the fact that he's walking around is very odd. And that's kind of the build-up of this game. Okay, this is going to take a while for me to get used to. <laughs> because I seem to be trying to get back into that 2000s jankiness. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one released in 2016, though. So, maybe they did something to it, or maybe they didn't. I don't know. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. I love this so much. I love so I love I love stuff like that where the environment is interacting around you. Eaten again too. Zombie movies. Ah, 2010. The 2010s where zombie movies and saw movies were rampant. I'll beat you up with a chair, let's go! Sir, please take your seat. You will be served when our cook is ready to serve you. Leave us a five-star review on Yelp. <laughs> but there's something about playing as just a berserker who just happens to be running through every single wall. Death is the type of person who will sort of meander around obstacles. War will just run through them like boom. 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 It's great. Oh man, look at that. I'm fanboying. I am fanboying. Okay, here we go. Straga. We're about to see a quality bit of voice acting from Troy Baker.
my brothers. This cannot be the, the final seed. My lord! How did this happen? have you done? I answer the call. I fucking love this game. I fucking love this game, man. It's amazing. I just, I love it, man. The voice acting as well. Liam O'Brien. It's just, it's, it's awesome, man. It's, it's just, war is not supposed to be here, but he answers the call. And Abaddon is sitting there and, you know, trying to make sense of all of this. And war is just like, Abaddon. Where are my brothers? And Abaddon's sitting there like, How is this happening? The seventh seal was not broken! He's having an existential crisis, and War is like, Tell me where my brothers are. And my one sister. So I believe... This game usually follows, you know, the pattern of three. So, after this, we should be done with Straga. Yeah, okay. So this should be it. This should be the prologue finished. Yeah. Stab out the eye. Beautiful. <laughs> and so now we've lost our powers. Because like I said in the beginning, war was never meant to be here. sequence man Your claims. The seals were broken. I was summoned. They were of your <laughs> Council. Only the balance, as the horsemen always have. 
Send me back. I will punish the ones responsible. How? What hope do you have? Then I will fall, and the demons will have powerless. carried out your sentence. Then I will fail, and the demons will have carried out your sentence. Very well. You will return to the Earth, but you will be watched. Come forth. Okay, other side. Yeah, we're gonna get our weapon, Chaos Eater. Chaos Eater. The angry blade thirst for destruction. Perfect. War's legendary blade, also stripped of its former strength and powers. Blade Geyser, harnessing the power of the Chaos Eater, this attack summons a field of deadly blades around war. So we can enter the inventory, and that just, yeah, inventory is inventorying. How long have I been gone? Okay, yeah, hold on. This would be a good place to just quickly preface this. So. This isn't exactly a let's play, it's kind of just me fanboying. So if I talk over cutscenes or if I happen to speak over certain lines just because it's triggering nostalgia in me, I apologize, but that's just the way that I am going to do things, at least for this episode. So no hard feelings if you click off or if you're not into that, no, if you're not into that, I completely get it, but I'm here to have an experience. And I'm hoping that I can share that experience with you guys too. So souls manifest in three forms, currency, health and wrath. Typical standard 2010 type game. Oh, sorry. Whoops. The council confers with demons now, does it? Since the truce was broken, some demons have fallen from the destroyer's favor. Volgrim is one such outcast. He has long sought an audience with us. How long have I been here? Looks like our trajectory was a little off. Not so fast, horseman. Let's lay down a few ground rules. Until this is over, you're a dog on a leash. I say bark, you bark. And if I have to kick you, you'd better not bear your teeth. Understand? Or should I teach you to play dead?
Okay. Seraphim Hotel, how aptly named. So find the demon Volgrim. That's our next task. So we can summon the Watcher anytime. The council ordered you to seek out Volgrim. So start seeking. So similar to Darksiders 2, this is sort of your navigation thingy majiggy. He he tells you where to go. And you have the added bonus of it being voiced by Mark Hamill. So I have my personal pocket Mark Hamill. That sounds weird, but I'm sure you catch my meaning. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that that doesn't sound too weird. And this is sort of, you know, what happened to humanity. Check it out. This is what happens when you have, you know, gamer subs deficiencies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Here comes the welcome party. Cool. Oh, damn. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can kill them instantly by grabbing, no? Yeah. So that, that's pretty cool. Small enemies, instant kill. Great. Slam the heads, slam the legs, destroy everybody until they're dead again. Right now, the moveset is very basic. It's just going to be slashes and dashes and flashes of lightning. No, no lightning. I made that up. I apologize. But it would be cool if there was lightning. But that's more death's thing. War is just kind of fire. War is more fire, less brimstone, just burn you to ashes, and then we all go home. Bars. For now, it's just slam. <laughs> that was the most adequate. That's the most anticlimactic puddle. Blop. 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 <laughs> I'm a child. Tower. How long was I gone? In Earth years? About a century, long enough for the last of the mouth breathers to die off. Then the third kingdom is lost. Superhero landing. Insert Deadpool superhero landing gif. <laughs> Just alongside that little bit. That's for me in editing. That's for me. <laughs> oh, it's still Lamar! Sato. I almost didn't hear you coming. Volgrim. The council finally took me seriously. If so, you're surely not empty handed. For this shall be the briefest of introductions. Seek the power behind the one called Destroyer. You will find the answers and the font of his power there. Oh, such haste to die. You aren't even a shadow of your former self. You wouldn't last a heartbeat. Besides, the way to the tower is shrouded by demon magics. Even I do not know the way. Who does? Feed my hunger. And I'll feed your curiosity. 
Greetings, horsemen. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I was waiting for the pop-up. Quick lesson. War is a horseman of the apocalypse. There are four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now, why is war a shadow of his former self? In case you don't know, war is a shadow of his former self. His former self being the initial state that we were during the prologue. Now, there are seven seals, and when the seventh seal is broken, the horsemen come and cash in on your debt. That's basically how it works. Now, the problem with the prologue is war was present on the battlefield when the seals were not broken. So the seventh seal was not broken. So by law, war should not have been there. He should not have been summoned. He should not have been called. He should not have had any part in any of this. If the seventh seal was broken, the other horsemen would have been there. Hence why, why war asked, where are my brothers to Abaddon? And Abaddon was so fixated on the fact of saying that the seventh seal was not broken. And the horsemen ride without the power of the seals behind their back. As we discovered in Darksiders 2, they rely on their own strength. Their own strength, their own abilities. They do not have the power of the seals behind their back. And the power of the seals makes them basically walking calamities. That's basically the gist behind it, okay? Understood? Understood? Understood. Lesson over. Let's continue with the gameplay. This voice cast is stacked of just absolute bangers after bangers after bangers. And you can see why I, as a young, a young lad, a wee young lad sitting in my room playing this game, I became so enamored with voice acting. This was also a time, I will admit, where I was heavily into religious mythology and angels and demons and stuff like that. Yes, I was a weird child, but I like to think that it made me who I am. And if you don't like that, then refer to the video right now. I believe you get my point. It's actually how I discovered Liam O'Brien. And from there, I found Arsara's Wrath, and from there... <laughs> that's a whole... That's a whole ledger of historical texts. So this game has quite the sentimental value to me. Okay. So. I don't believe... Actually, I do believe. Yes, I do believe. But I believe... That's what I believe. Uh, that is, that is, yes, swimming, swimming is great, but this is what I believe. Give, give, give. Thank you. Artifact soldier, these ancient insignias were given to the legions of hell as trophies for the carnage of the end days. Return it to Volgrim and he will reward you. Greetings, horsemen. To Volgrim we go. That should not be standing. Structure. But I guess that's the power of magic. Oh, magic! I want to be a wizard! Oh, but you can't be a wizard. You aren't magical enough. These ancient gates have a mind of their own. But with this, you may reach and understand it. Beyond the gate, seek out Samael's prison once. Samael was close in power to the Dark Prince himself. Some might even say a threat. You will find he is no friend to the Destroyer. Seek me out when you've gathered more souls. I will make it worth your while. Oh man, I love Samael too. Samael's one of the best characters in this game. <gasps> Perfect. Harpoon tackle. That's good. That's not that good. That's good. But that's amazing. Only like that. I do like that. I do. And I want it. We need to get the scythe. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. So they sell Harvester now. So before, what you did is you bought the scythe. And then, um, because I played on PS3, there was a code you had to put in, and that changed the cosmetic of the scythe into the harvester. I think that's how it worked. 
Harvester basically gets more souls because it's supposed to be Death Scythe. But we find out in Darksiders 2 that it looks nothing like that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. Um, let's see what else we got here. It's a bit, it's a bit creepy with, with Volgrim constantly in the back going, Nice sword. <laughs> That's so weird. There we go. We don't really need that because we're we're very good on health. Because you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but <laughs> I'm a goaded player. <laughs> uh, I need me a car. So let's let's. Uh, I need me a car. I need me a Nissan. I need me a, a Fiat. I need me a Peugeot, a Renault. Something small, something compact, a smart car even. A Mini, a Mini Cooper will do me just fine. So here's a little thing, let's see if I can line this up properly. Go it there. That comes down. And we get the first piece of something we will be working towards for the rest of this playthrough. The fabled Abyssal Armor. A piece of blood forged Abyssal Armor. Collect 10 to complete the set. So that's one of 10. And I believe the second one's here as well. I can't remember if it is, but I think it's I think it's around here somewhere. Uh, but we need to get the uh, the upgrade from Samael first. So we'll do that. Here we go. Actually, before we do that, I want to get I want to get my uh, uh, hurricane twist thingy. Best move in the game. Once you buy that game, you've pretty much won every fight. I do not know if I ever played this game on Apocalyptic. Uh, I'm expecting it to have you know a bit of difficulty. There he is, the demon commander, guarding Samael's pit. That's how dangerous Samael is. They have a demon general on point here to make sure nobody brings Samael out of his cage. God, I love Samael. Once you are strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. The destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legion against you. Then I'll, I'll make, make this, this quick. quick. I will take your head. Oh. Oh. Ah, he doesn't care about that. Ah, sugar, me timbers. Yep, okay, first death. First death. I don't know why, but it just felt like I had no control over my my abilities. Oh, I thought I had that in time. Boink. <laughs> Fool. There we go. Perfect. Done dealio. Return to sender. That took, that took a, a bit more than I expected, but it's done. Now we meet the, uh, the, the godfather of this game. I love Samael, an amazing character. Overpoweredness done right. Even underpowered, he's still menacing. And he, he's the blood prince. Like, come on, man. one hideous blood-puking gargoyle. That's so cool. And the, the cutscene that was about to be played. Um, amazing cutscene. It's an amazing cutscene. Honestly, it's so cool. 
And I want you to pay attention to War's face when he like takes a jab at Samael. You can tell War's stoic, but he knows when he's dropped a, a zinger. He knows when he's got you. It's it's great. It's just the little the little character developments. Just just keep an eye on his face. You'll see what I mean. And now we have our first task. Find TMS and take her heart. And we have Shadow Flight. Our glide ability, which will be massively helpful for traversal. So I think while we here while we're here, we're just gonna quickly knock this out. A few moments later. Sammy! 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 Where do I fall from? Sammy! Which which ledge is it? Sammy! So there's there's the shadow flight that brings me back up. So where do I fall from? It has to be from here. No? Am I bugging? Am I bugging? There we go. That's how you do it. There we go. I near it. I near it. I did it. I did it. Give me my give me my my tithe. Thank you. Very much worth it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my my uh, fanboying, my excessive commentary, my my mannerisms, my isms, my or everything. Uh, next episode, we're gonna go find Tiamat in the Twilight Cathedral and bring her still beating heart to the Prince of Blood. Not sure that's the best of my options, but it's the only one I've got. So, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.